Now there's one more lesson that we need to talk about, and that is a lesson on recursive formulas. So let's say if we have the formula a of n plus 1 is equal to a of n, or rather 3 times a of n plus 2. You need to know that a of n is the previous term, a of n plus 1 is the next term. So let's say if the first term is 1, what is the value of the next four terms? So if n is 1, n plus 1 is 2. So the second term is 3 times the value of the first term plus 2. So it's 3 times 1 plus 2, which is 5. Now, if we want to find the third term, it's 3 times the second term plus 2. The second term is 5. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17. Now, if we want to find the fourth term, it's 3 times the third term plus 2. The third term is 17. 17 times 3 is 51, plus 2, that's 53. So that's the value of the fourth term. Let's try another example. So let's say that a of n is equal to 2 times a of n minus 1. And let's go ahead and square it. And then we'll subtract it by 5. So a of n plus 1 was the next term. a of n was the previous term. In this case, a of n minus 1 is the previous term. a of n is the next term. And let's say the first term is equal to... 2. So a of 2 is 2 times the square of a of 1 minus 5. So it's 2 times 2 squared minus 5. 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8 minus 5, that's 3. a of 3 is 2 times a of 2 squared minus 5. So a of 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 minus 5 is 13 a sub 4 is 2 times the square of a sub 3 minus 5. a sub 3 is 13. 13 squared is 169. 169 times 2, that's 338 minus 5. So this is equal to 333. And so that's how you can work with a recursively defined formula.